Today's video is on methods of studying correlation. Listen to this video for few minutes. Definitely you will be getting a clarity on the methods of studying correlation. They are two different methods for finding out the relationship between the variables. They are the graphical methods and the second one is the mathematical methods. So now coming to the graphical methods, the first one is scatter diagram or scattergram and the next one is a simple graph. And next one here is according to the mathematical methods, the methods for finding the correlation between the two variables is Carl Pearson quotient of correlation, Spearman's rank quotient of correlation, quotient of concurrent deviation and next one is the method of least squares. We will now discuss the method, these methods. The first one is scatter diagram or scattergram. The scatter diagram is a chart obtained by plotting two variables to find out whether there is any relationship between them. In this diagram, the x variables are plotted on the horizontal axis and y variables are plotted on the vertical axis. Thus, we can know the scatter or the concentration of the various points. Various scatter diagrams are briefly shown here. See here, if the quotient of correlation is positive, plus 1, so here this is a perfect to positive correlation. According to the scatter diagram, so this is the curve here. And the next one, if the quotient of correlation is minus 1, so this is nothing but the perfect negative correlation. And coming to this scatter diagram, so this is a high degree positive correlation and this is a high degree negative correlation. And this one is, there is no correlation between the variables. And the next one, what, is, what are the advantages of the scatter diagram? Scatter diagrams are simple, attractive methods to find out the nature of the correlation. It is easy to understand. A rough idea is got at a glance whether it is positive or negative correlation. And here, the second method here is, from the graphical method, the first one is scatter diagram or scattergram. And the next me method here is a simple graph. Coming to the simple graph, see here, the values of the two variables are plotted on the graph paper. We get two curves, one for the x variable and the other for the y variable. These two curves reveal the direction and the closeness of the two variables and also reveal whether, whether or not the variables are related. If both the curves move in the same direction that is parallel to each other, either upwards or downwards, the correlation is said to be positive. On the other hand, if they move in an opposite direction, then the correlation is said to be negative. The above methods is used in case of time series. This method does not reveal the extent to which the variables are related. See here, this is about the simple graph. And the next one is the mathematical methods. See here, according to the mathematical methods for finding the quotient of correlation is, correlation is a statistical technique used for Analyzing the behavior of the two or more variables. Its analysis deals with the association between the two or more variables. Statistical measures of the correlation relates to the covariation between the series but not of the function or the casual relationship. The first one is Carl Pearson quotient of correlation which is the most important topic here. And Carl Pearson, a British biometrician or a statistician suggested a mathematical method for measuring the magnitude of a linear relationship between the two variables. This is known as Pearsonian quotient of correlation. It is denoted by gamma. This method is most widely used. It is also called the product moment correlation quotient. Carl Pearson quotient of correlation or the correlation between the gamma between the two variables x and y is defined by the formula. Gamma is equal to the covariance of x and y divided by the standard deviation of x into standard deviation of y. So this is the formula here where gamma is equal to the covariance of x comma y by standard deviation is generally represented by sigma x into sigma y. So here the formula here is sigma x minus x bar into y minus y bar by n times of sigma x into sigma y. So here sigma x formula is this one and sigma y formula is this one and here the next one is the direct method. If x and y are the two variates having the means x bar and y bar respectively, then the covariance, the relation between x and y is equal to sigma dx into dy by root over sigma dx square into sigma dy square, where dx is nothing but xi minus x bar. The deviations of x from its mean and dy is equal to yi minus y bar, the deviation of y from its mean. 
So here the covariance of x comma y is equal to sigma dx into dy by n times of sigma x into sigma y. So this is the formula and the next one the third formula here is the covariance of x comma y is equal to sigma dx into dy minus sigma dx into sigma dy by n by root over sigma dx square minus sigma dx square by n into root over sigma dy square minus sigma dy whole square by n. So this is the third formula and the next fourth formula here is the step deviation method. So the direct method becomes very lengthy and tedious if the means x bar and y bar of the two series x and y are fractions. In such cases, use the step deviation method. If u and v are the step deviations from the assumed means, then see here gamma of u comma v is equal to n times of sigma u v minus sigma u into sigma v by this is root over n times of sigma u square minus sigma u whole square into root over n times of sigma v square minus sigma v whole square. So this is the step deviation method. So here are the properties of correlation quotients. See here property 1. See, the quotient of correlation always lies between plus 1 and minus 1. This is the first property. Symbolically, R lies between minus 1 or plus 1 or modulus of uh, gamma less than or equal to 1. So, this is not R gamma. Next one, note, R lies between minus 1 and plus 1. Then, the correlation quotient cannot exceed 1 numerically. It cannot exceed 1 value. If gamma is equal to 1, the correlation is perfect and positive. If gamma is equal to minus 1, the correlation is perfect and negative. If gamma is equal to 0, then there is no relationship between the variables. So, according to the property 2, the quotient of correlation is independent of the change of the origin and the scale of the measurements. And according to the property 3, if x and y are the random variables and a, b, c, d are any numbers such that a not equal to 0 and c not equal to 0, then covariance of ax plus b comma cy plus d is equal to ac by mod ac by gamma of x comma y and according to the property 4 the two independent variables are uncorrelated if x and y are independent variables then gamma of x comma y is equal to 0 so these are all the properties of uh, correlation coefficients these are all the methods for finding the correlation coefficient one is a graphical method and next one is a mathematical part and Carl Pearson method is most important. In my upcoming video, I am going to solve so many problems related to those series and definitely it will be very helpful, damn sure question. If you really like, raise your thumb, pass it on to your friends and share with as many friends as you can. That is the greatest help needed to this channel. And here are the here is the playlist and definitely it will be very helpful. Go for any topic you like and if there is uh, any topic missing, please leave a comment below definitely. Uh, I'll post very soon. Thank you so much for watching and staying till the end.